going to look at the greater notes and look at the comic and see if restoration removal would be the right way to go for these comics or try to replace them which could be very expensive because some of the comics are old like Batman 2 so even if the grade was to go down a little I think having the universal label would increase the value of the comic if I had to sell it so this is the Batman 2 for my collection and it's graded 4.0 restored and it says on the cover here in the label restoration includes small amount of color touch on cover now in the corner here where the grade is it says slight A1 restoration which means a professional did it and it's supposed to be easier to remove. Now, I've been doing a lot of research, and some people, the grade goes lower. One person, the grade actually went higher when the restoration was removed. So this year at the 2019 New York City Comic Con, I'm going to meet Matt Nelson, and we're allowed to show him five comics I'm hoping he can tell me on the spot if these are good candidates to restore. So the first one that I'm going to submit, if he says it's a good idea, is the Batman number two. Um, it says colored touch archival material, high quality, small areas, full left front cover, A1. Color touch archival material, high quality, small areas, right bottom front cover, a1. Also, I'm not sure if restoration removal includes a pressing because there's multiple creases to the full right of the front cover. Now, if a staples detached from the bottom of the front cover, I don't know if the whole cover will become detached if they have to do restoration removal. Um, I did receive a detached cover, higher issue number Batman in the 80s with a detached cover and it came back 3.0. So if this Batman number two had restoration removed and came back 3.0, depending on how much it costs for restoration removal and regrading, it might be worth it. So here's my Batman two. Restoration includes small amount of color touch on the cover. It's graded 4.0. A1 restoration, which should be easy to remove, I've been told. There are some things that can't be fixed, like the piece missing in the corner of the cover here. And there's like a stain here, or a scrape. So, color touch removal might look like that. I believe there's a stain under that color touch removal. The next issue that I have here is Batman 6. This is graded 4.5. Slight B1 restoration. I don't know what would happen. This is probably not a good candidate, but we'll find out. Because it says tear seal to cover so the book had a tear on the cover and it was sealed and it was done b1 it says slight maybe it's removable not sure the notes on this one say um let me look at this real quick t 
Tear seals to cover. Average quality. Bottom front cover, B1. Creases to the top of the front cover. Light crease center of the front cover. Subscript, subscription crease on the back cover. So those are the notes for my Batman 6. Has cream to off-white pages. To 4.5. The restoration on this is P1, which is, you know, pretty good restoration. The problem with this book is somewhere along the spine, it was sealed to the book. might be there so between that and some other bends that are on the book such as there might not be a good candidate but I'll get a professional opinion at the New York City Comic Con this one is Batman 7, and it's graded 5.0. So, this restoration has a spine split sealed to cover. I can see it here also. Again, this might not be a good candidate, especially since it's a slight C1. Um... Restoration is levels A, B, and C. C being the worst, one being the best of the worst. Restoration includes spine split seal to cover. This is only a C1 restoration. It's not really that good. But the grade is 5.0 and it has white pages. So possibly if they could remove some of the spine sealed to cover without the cover being detached it might be a good candidate for restoration removal Let's take a look at the spine you see a slight stain above the A there's a stain that might be the seal right there it could be glue I would not want to detach cover though. So, that would be a question I have if I decide to bring this one in and try to get the restoration removed. The uh, Batman 10 is black cover. 3.5 again might be too low to even consider having the restoration remove. This is Batman 10 restoration, small amount of color touch. The grade here is 3.5 and it's light tan to off white pages. It is a B1 restoration, which isn't too bad. I could see the tear right there. Um, it's a slight color touch on the cover. I did not purchase a black light yet, so I can't really tell where the color touch is done. It's not an all black cover, so possibly it won't look too bad if the color touch is removed. Looking at the notes, the restoration is um, Small amount of color touch, average quality, top of the spine, B1, light crease, right bottom of the front cover. And then there's a stain, full top of the whole book, tear seal, top of the front cover. I see the 
Oh, by the number 10 is a tear seal tear seal so I'm not even sure if they could remove that next one we might have them look at is Batman 21 nice red cover it's great at 5.5 small amount of color touch on cover is the restoration it's a b1 restoration off white pages graded 5.5 and it's a red cover not really sure where all the restoration is on here i don't have a black light it's going to depend on the pros to let me know if they take the color restoration out, will it be a lot of white specks on the red cover? We're going to find out what restoration removal might do to this book. And with the additional things that are wrong, According to the greatest notes, it's all color touch average materials, B1, and it's on the front of the cover. I don't really want holes in my comics, as you know. Um, there is small pieces out which they can't fix and small tears, but it's 5.5. If it went down to 5, it might be worth it. Uh, we have a Batman 22 here. This is 4.5. Again, small amount of color touch on the cover. This is a C1 restoration. It's graded 4.5. It's the first appearance of Alfred in Solo Adventures. Not, again, not totally sure what the color touch removal would do. I see some white specks already on the cover. If it was just a couple more of those, it might be okay. Unless it's this where this glare is over here. Some of my universal blue labels has small amount of color touch, so I don't know if there's a certain percentage that after a while it just gets the restored label, or if in addition with all the creases and little chips out, it gets the restored label. I was wondering if you just had the comics pressed, is that get rid of enough defects to get it blue label? Not really sure. This might not be a good candidate because it's C1, but it does say slight, so that would be another one that maybe it's a 4.5 um, left center of the spine, C1, and then a lot of bends and spine stress lines that break cover, which again cannot be fixed. And this probably is the best candidate, it's a black cover. So this is Batman 25, small amount of color touch on the cover. It's great at a high 7.0. It does have slight C1 restoration. C1, not really sure what that would do to the book if it was taken off. It's a nice black motorcycle cover through the flaming hoop. People like this cover.
I see the letter KC on there also. So there's some writing on the cover. I don't know if that comes off with restoration removal. But this is probably the best candidate because it's already 7.0. Uh, left bottom front cover, right bottom front cover has C1 restoration. And then the usual bends and spine stress. So we just finished looking at seven issues that we were going to consider submitting for restoration removal. I've decided to pick the five I think might have the best chance of being approved. I know they'll do it anyway, but I would like it to come out good. So we're going to go with Batman 2, 6, 10, 21, and 25. And so here's a second Batman 49 I'm going to submit to be graded. This one I bought from Heritage, and I know it's restored because Heritage said it was restored. So I'm going to submit this one to... On the next episode... We'll take a look at which books were submitted and which were told. Don't do that. I'll get back to you after the convention, let you know if Matt was able to tell me in person that I should submit a couple of these books to have the restoration removed. And if not, I may try to replace them with Universal and sell the restored books. Well, thank you for joining me. Bye.